In the previous section, we talked about how to set up a double integral over a rectangle to find the volume under a surface over a rectangle in the xy plane. Now, what we want to do is we want to have the freedom to have any shape that we want in the xy plane and find a volume under some surface over that region. So this is double integrals over general regions, example one. When we want to find the volume underneath a function f of xy over a non-rectangular region, we adjust our bounds of integration to be a mixture of functions and constants. Now this next part is really important. We should always have constant bounds on the outer integral, otherwise you will not end up with a number as your volume. So what we want to do is look at our xy region and figure out our bounds from that. So example one is integrate f of xy equals x over y over the quadrilateral region with vertices 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, and 2, 4. What I want to do first is actually sketch out my region. So I have my xy axes, and I'm going to put a dot at each vertex and then connect them. So I have this quadrilateral, quadrilateral region with vertices 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, and 2, 2. And I'm just going to shade that in to indicate that that's the region that I'm going to be um, integrating over. Now the function that I'm actually integrating is the x over y. But to find my bounds of integration, I'm going to use this two-dimensional quadrilateral region. So what I need to do is find bounds for my y and bounds for my x's. To find my bounds for y, I need to find the equations of the, um, the top line and the bottom line of the quadrilateral region. So the top line, to find the slope, I'm just going to use um, 4 minus 2 over 2 minus 1. So I'm using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and that's equal to 2. So I have my slope of 2, and now I can find the equation of the line by plugging that into the point-slope form. So y minus 2 equals 2 times x minus 1. I solve that for y, and I get y equals 2x. So the upper bound for y is going to be 2x. Now I want to do the exact same thing for the lower bound of the quadrilateral region. So I find the slope using the two points, 2, 2, and 1, 1. So I'll have the slope is 2 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. And that's equivalent to 1. I plug that and one of the points into my um, point-slope form. So I get y minus 1 equals 1 times x minus 1. So y equals x. So I have a lower bound for y, and I have an upper bound for y, x to 2x. Now the bounds on my x have to be constants. Otherwise, when I set up my double integral, I won't get an actual value. <clears throat> so y equals x is my lower bound y equals 2x is my upper bound, so y goes from x to 2x. Now for the x bounds, all I have to do is look at the lowest x value, which is 1, and the highest x value, which is 2, and so x goes from 1 to 2. So by putting those particular y bounds from x to 2x, and those particular x bounds, I've expressed that two-dimensional quadrilateral region. The constants must be the outer bounds of the integral, 
So that means when I set up my integral, I'm going to do dy dx. And as I mentioned before, f of xy equals x over y is the integrand. So the volume under the function over the given quadrilateral region is the um, v equals the integral from 1 to 2, because the x has to be the outer bound, the, the constants have to be the outer bound, of the integral from x to 2x of my function x over y dy dx. So that's how you set up your double integral. You take your function and that's the integrand. You take one of the variables and um, find the edges of your region with that variable um, in terms of the other. And then for your other variable, you find the constants, the lowest and highest value. So now we want to evaluate this double integral to find um, the volume. So I've just repeated the example over here. And we already set up our double integral. V equals the integral from 1 to 2 of the integral from x to 2x of x over y dy dx. So this inner integral with respect to y, we're going to treat x like a constant. And so what I have is x natural log of y. Because this x over y is the same as x times 1 over y. And we know the antiderivative of 1 over y is natural log of y. So x natural log of y from y equals x to y equals 2x plug in my bounds, x times natural log of 2x minus natural log of x. And I'm going to use some log properties to simplify this. So I'll use the log property natural log of a minus natural log of b equals the natural log of a divided by b. So this will um, be equivalent to x natural log of 2x over x which I can simplify to x natural log of 2. So that this will really help with evaluating my next integral. So I have the volume equals the integral from 1 to 2 of x natural log of 2 dx. So I just took that x natural log of 2 and plugged it into the outer integral. So that's x squared over 2 times natural log of 2 evaluated from x equals 1 to x equals 2. And now I just plug in my upper bound minus my lower bound, f of b minus f of a. So 4 over 2 minus 1 over 2 all times the natural log of 2. And this is 3 halves natural log of 2. So what we just found is that the volume under the surface x over y over that two-dimensional quadrilateral region with the vertices that we were given is 3 halves natural log of 2. So you could write cubic units since we're talking about um, a volume, but you don't have to because uh, they just said integrate over the region. So remember, when you're setting up your double integral, constant bounds have to go on the outside. Your function is the integrand. And then always sketch your region when you can. It will help you find the bounds and make sure that you're actually setting things up correctly.